For decades, all e-commerce companies, including travel, have been dependent on Google to drive customers to their site. But after Google bought ITA over a decade ago and slowly started moving into travel, we've seen them developing their own travel brands. And now, with the launch of Google Travel after Google Flights, there's no longer that same ability to depend on Google to drive customers to an online travel agency site. In fact, the main search results from Google are now driving customers to the Google Travel brands versus those of OTAs. We've seen recently both Expedia and TripAdvisor talk about the negative impact that Google's search results driving to their own products is having on their brands and customer acquisition. That's going to be impacting other OTAs even more severely. MetaSearch has been an important driver for customer acquisition for OTAs. And while it will continue to do so, we're seeing some of those large meta companies with more of a direct-to-consumer approach. In fact, Skyscanner is now creating a marketplace whereby they're allowing customers to directly book on the Skyscanner brand or driving customers to their parent company, Trip.com. OTAs need to be thinking beyond the traditional meta and Google channels. Social media sites like Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest are all being used now by key OTAs to inspire customers and have them driven to the OTA site. They need to be thinking beyond that as well. Car infotainment is a new way to interact with customers for inspiration and customer acquisition. With the growth of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto Car, we're seeing a new way to interact with customers. At the end of the day, what's worked in 2019 and before is no longer going to be enough in 2020 and beyond. Generation Z is interacting with online travel agencies and the e-commerce world in a different way. OTAs need to be thinking about customer acquisition in new ways and using the latest technologies and social media platforms as customer acquisition strategies going forward.